Right, we're now going to have a look at the stop shot. Same principle as the drive in terms of I'm going to hit the yellow through the blue in a straight line. What I want you to focus on here is what's different with my stance and my mallet position at entry. So again, I'm going to walk back, stalk the ball and then play the stroke. So that was a stop shot. First thing, blue finished in the same place. Blue went about 14 yards. Yellow, however, went under three yards. So we've moved from a maybe three to three and a half to one ratio to a five and a half to one ratio. Quite a big difference. And having the control to play those two different types of ratio, really important in the game. So what was different about the shot? Well, first of all, instead of having my mallet more or less flat on the ground, the toe was in the air and the heel was on the ground. Not as much as that, but just a little bit, just a little bit off the ground. Secondly, with the mallet not here, but here, you can see that the mallet handle is now further back that way. So if the mallet handle is further back that way, my hands are further back that way, and logic says that my feet now need to go further back that way. So have a look at the video again, and you'll see that my feet are quite substantially further back from the ball than from a drive. Okay, now in terms of my grip, my grip was very similar to a drive really. I was holding the mallet the same way, my hands were at the top of the mallet, nothing particularly special. I did stop the mallet and ground it after impact though. And that's one of the reasons it's called a stop shot. You're actually stopping the mallet, using the ground, never do any damage to the lawn, but it does help to stop, stop the ball. <laughs> 